Mentor and Teach by Andrew Young. While doing my research for this capstone project, I discovered that there are two main challenges that teachers face inside the classroom. Uh, according to Du Bois and Silvertorn, uh, there's apathy towards learning and teaching. And this apathy can be caused by a disconnect, not only a disconnect between the relationship between the teacher and the student, but also in the use of certain instruction methods, mainly ones that aren't engaging. And both of these things tend to cause some serious problems in really getting the students to learn and grasp concepts uh, that the teachers are trying to teach. So the two main solutions that we find in obviously dealing with both of these challenges is to improve the teacher-student relationships and to modify instruction methods used in the classroom to get students engaged. So through my action research, I found that relationships tend to fall apart between teachers and students when students and both teachers and students, I should say, uh, become disillusioned in teaching in general. Um, students can become frustrated in either not understanding concepts that are being taught because too much information is being conveyed or frustrated due to other ex ex uh, exterminating circumstances. There's also a lack of respect that tends to be found in certain classrooms uh, where teachers have little or no respect for their students and their backgrounds and their knowledge and the teachers or the students um, have the same reaction to the teachers because they're not going to want to learn from someone that they have no respect for and don't respect them. So this becomes a pretty large issue in trying to get students to learn and trying to get teachers to be able to be more than just teachers but mentors. I'm not saying they need to be friends necessarily. They need to maintain an authoritative classroom presence, but the classroom presence can show earnest and honest compassion and caring for the students and respect for them as well. So improving relationships between students and teachers, um, I found through my research that the quality of relationships between students and teachers had a profound impact on academic performance of students. And also that students who were taught by teachers who had spent many years at the same school tended to reach higher achievement levels when compared to students who were being taught by younger and newer teachers or more transitional, te transitional teachers. So we find that teachers who are a, a regular stay and foundation for a school tend to be more successful, especially with students because they know that these people are going to be there and they can rely on them. We also find that credibility of the teacher has a dramatic impact as well on the credibility and student performance. We find that students aren't going to respect or listen to teachers who aren't ethical or credible. We also find that by holding on to higher standards, stronger relationships of trust were formed. Now dealing with issues of instruction, the core issue that the, we deal with is the lack of engagement and again this can be a, a number of factors that cause this. Uh, some of the factors can be different that there are different types of learners who learn differently and therefore don't understand or don't learn e as effectively as others depending on the kind of material and how it's presented. Uh, the lack of variety in instruction as well as any extracurricular influences such as bullying or other factors that may um, exist at home. So in modifying our instruction we're able to address this lack of engagement. By using a variety of teaching methods and altering activities teachers are better able to engage their students. We also found that integrating technology-based contents also was not enough, although it's, it, it was useful, was not enough 
in engaging and keeping students engaged. One of the things that was found to be successful and effective was flipping the classroom where teachers would present uh, information, lectures, and other information for students online or in another method that students could have gain access to outside of the classroom and then come into the classroom having read or reviewed that information to present questions or to be able to generate discussion. We find that flipping the classroom again as, in, as instructed not only does it help students learn and then bring that information to the classroom but they also have the ability to collaborate with other students outside of the brick and mortar school. They're able to engage using social networking, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Tumblr, and a number of other means by which to do this. One of the big ones that I discovered in, in implementing during my capstone project is the use of Google Drive. Google Drive features a number of different applications that will help students be able to apply technology to, again, further the learning experience. By utilizing these forms of instruction in the research that I went through, we found that teachers were able to not only provide new ways to teach similar topics, but they found new ways to teach it, which is phenomenal. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you found it informative. These are the references that I referred to during this presentation. Please take a moment to look at these and if you have any further or questions or concerns about this or if you would like to look up more information or perhaps further research you can look up these, these references and apply them in whatever research project you may be doing.